Hi Eloy, congrats on a thousand. That's great for you and great news and I hope that your channel just gets goes from strength to strength from here and that you keep the enjoyment of the card community going for a long, long time in the future. Now, um, in regards to your giveaway and you asked for comments regarding sports and school sports particularly and what us young'uns used to get up to, well... I just remember back in my day, a few few years before now, that um, I went to a little Christian church school and our school, sometimes we had principals that sort of frowned upon competitive sports too much and we used to love playing Aussie football but we got one of those principals at, at a time that hated Aussie football because they thought it was always too dangerous and um, not a very good sport to have competitive for such competitiveness and things like that. So, in their wisdom, this particular principal decided to ban foot, AFL football from the school sports program. And let's just say that there was a lot of us boys who were very upset about it all but some of the guys went meekly and some of the so-called troublemakers which unfortunately I think I was part of it at that stage <laughs> decided that we would go our silent protest so after they banned football when it was time for our sport classes about four or five of us would wander down to the uh, girls section of the sports and sit on the be- sit on the sidelines and watch them play hockey. And when the teachers asked me, we go, well, football was banned and we don't want to do athletics or any silly, r- just running and exercises or whatever. And we just said, we'll come down here and watch hockey and, what, and you can do what you like. And what happened then was... Uh, even though the principal didn't like it, the teacher who took the girls' hockey found it extremely helpful to her to have some guys come in and play hockey. So we started playing hockey with the girls, and that was that was cool. And I have to admit, probably more dangerous than football with just the guys. So, I mean, a lot of the girls hated sports, but those girls that loved sports put a hockey stick in their hands and... Uh, you're in danger of losing parts of your body quite often, and I reckon it was more dangerous than the football. Anyway, uh, that wasn't the actual part I was going to talk about, because after a while, uh, the teachers uh, tried to think of an idea to stop us guys from going down there and playing hockey with the girls. So they, they thought they'd come up with the perfect solution, and this is the sport that I was going to tell you about, and that was we started playing, uh, they h- hired out a roller rink that had uh, hockey sticks and a plastic ball and we started playing roller hockey. Now, uh, I really wanted to play football, but this was the next best thing, so uh, I signed up for the roller hockey. And this is where I come across my favourite um experience of all time um it was about three weeks in and the teacher who took the roller hockey class was the actual teacher who banned a football and so uh he wasn't a very well liked person and about three weeks in on the roller hockey as we got our um learned to get our feet on skates because I wasn't a very good skater, but that was beside the point. It was a lot of fun. But as the weeks flew by and we started to get our feet and learn to control ourselves on skates a bit more, the the games got more serious and serious. And about four, three to four weeks in, uh, just one day, and uh, as you don't know what's going to happen, it just uh, happened that the play was set up perfectly for me to do something I probably sh- should be ashamed of, but I wasn't. But that was uh, 
I had a chance and I took it. And I did a beautiful rush and charge and knocked our sports master directly over the fence of the roller rink with a, with a beautiful body check. And that sticks in my memory for a long, long time as a school kid, particularly since um, he was the one who stopped football in the first place. Uh, and he, he managed to get up after a few minutes and said what a good hit it was. But it was only about two weeks after that that uh, roller hockey sort of was off the menu again. And he decided maybe football was the best thing after all. And we got back to playing football. So, yeah, that, that, that was the memories of my sports at school at those days. And it's still a great funny one to remember even now. I hope I give you a bit of a chuckle. And I'm oh, sorry that, as you say, you're a teacher. But sometimes us kids just like to get at our teachers if we can do it legally and not too dangerously, but in, in a fun way and have a good laugh about it. So, and that particular teacher, I did knock over the rink wall. We were still the greatest friends after school and stuff, but it was just a good, fun memory. So yeah, you have it. Roller hockey, because I guess technically... We didn't really have too many ice rinks where we are in this part of the world. And ice ice hockey was not really, and still not really, one of Australia's well-known sports. So, yeah, it was a role of hockey. Anyway, have a great day. Uh, congratulations on the thousand once again. And keep your good vids coming. Thanks a lot. Cheers. <laughs>